Welcome to Beginner's Guide. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to apply the background music to your website. So here is a website. Uh, here we have a button. This is a play button. When you click on this button, we are going to play the music. And if you want to pause the music, click on the pause button so that the music will be paused. Let me show you how this one would look like. When I click this play button, it's going to play the music. Now when I click the pause button, the music is being paused. So this is what I'm going to teach you in this tutorial. Before we begin, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe the channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So in my desktop, I have a folder. Within that folder, uh, I have a background music, index.html file, javascript file, style.css file. And then there is a folder name called images. Inside, and there is a background image as well as I have got the images for the play button and the pause button. So let me open this one with my text editor. This is a basic boilerplate for the index.html. Here what I have done, I have just linked the style.css file as well as the javascript file. In the style.css, there is a basic styling. What I have done, I have just removed the basic margin and padding and then I have set the box sizing to the border box. The javascript file is empty as for now. Now let us start work on the design part. So here what I am going to do, I am going to create a div with a class name called container so within this container class i'm going to create another div let me call this div as a content here i'm going to create the h1 tag i'm going to name this one as a my music followed by i'm going to create a paragraph tag within the paragraph tag i just want to copy and paste this message in the actual design what i want to do is i need to have this image so for that i'm going to use image tag within the source i'm going to use this play.jpg as an image so for that i'm going to the images folder and then i have the image name as play.jpg let me save and open with my browser let's see how does this one look like here we go then what we are remaining with is we need to add the music right for that i'm just going to use the audio tag so within the audio tag i need to specify the source of my song that i'm going to use so here the name of the music is my music so i'm just going to use my music as a name of the file that one is an mp3 file the dot mp3 again here I have to specify the type the type is audio slash mp3 right as for now we are done with the html part let us go and style a bit so i'm going to my body section i need to apply the background image so here background image i'm going to use the url property uh, the image was here in the images folder so within the images folder i'm going to use this background.jpg then i want to set some width and height the background position is going to be let's say center and then background size i want them to be cover let me save and refresh so that you would see how does this one would look like as for now everything is okay what we are remaining with this we have to bring these things towards the right side and then we need to play the music in the background right so what i'm going to do first i'm going to the class container so here i'm going to set the width 100 percent position absolute i'm going to select this class name called content now i want to target the h1 so here i'm just going to say float right margin top going to be 160 pixel let me set the font size margin right uh, let me say 100 pixel i want to apply some text shadow then let me set the font weight to bolder and then i want to apply the color for the text let me save and refresh so that you will see how does this one would look like here we go now we are remaining with the paragraph and this particular image so what i can do let me just copy this now i want to style the paragraph i'm just going to say almost everything let me just copy and paste so that i can edit one or two things so i'm just going to set the position here to absolute then margin top i want them to be let's say 270 pixel font size uh, let me just say 50 pixel margin let me say this margin left text shadow font weight 
bolder it's okay maybe color i want them to be white i think we are good let me go and refresh okay here we go what we are remaining with is we need to bring this pattern to this place right so for that i'm just going to focus on what i can do maybe i can give a name here for this image let me say id of logo so here i need to target that logo hash logo let me set the position to absolute float right margin top is going to 350 pixel margin left going to be 78 percent let me set some width 55 pixel and then cursor i want them to be pointer let me save and refresh okay now everything looks perfect but when i click on this play button nothing is happening for that we need to work with the javascript so here what i'm going to do in my javascript let me create a variable and then i'm going to call that one as uh, the song so this song is going to take the values from document dot get element by id method so what i want to target them here is the uh, let me give the id for this song that i have given them here so id i can say just the song so this is a place that i want to target so here i can say song then let me create another variable let uh, i can call this variable as a logo here what i want to target is document dot get element by id this same logo here because when i click on that logo i want to listen the song that's the reason why we are targeting that one now i have created a variable so what is next when i click on this icon i want to listen the music right so for that i'm going to use an event name called on click for this particular button so where is this particular button this particular button is stored into this particular variable isn't it so so here i'm going to say logo dot on click as an event this on click event is going to call a function within this function I'm going to write the actions for that particular function. So what I'm going to write them here is, let's say I want to play the song. So where is the song? The song is in this particular variable, right? The song dot, when I say play, it's just going to play the song. So let me save and refresh so that you will see. But the problem here is you can't pass the song because it's just playing so if you want to pass the song uh, here we can use some conditions let's say if we just want to play the song only the song dot when you say past you want them to be passing right so the song dot play so when the song is playing you need to change the icon isn't it how do you change the icon from pass to play or play to pause so here is already in the play if you want to pause where is icon logo dot source you need to change them to this icon where is the icon is in the images folder and what is the name of the icon pause dot jpg right i hope you understood otherwise in the else part we're just going to say the song dot pause in this case you just want to change the logo source to the play button so where is the play button in the images so what does that mean exactly so when you want to play and pause you have to change the icons right that is the reason why we are using the if condition with this statement so when i go and refresh now i'm sure that now this time around you can able to pause and play the song so let me go and click now you can able to pause uh, we have managed to include the background music for the website i hope everything is clear if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button thank you see you in the next tutorial